Hello everyone, this is Neronium. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Last time we got, well, thrown off Forbidden Isle, and we have now arrived at Windfall Isle, where we have our mission. Find a sail. But before that, I'm gonna be a menace to society. Hello. If you could indulge me for a moment, Please admit that I am looking fine. Why, looking this fine would have won me the Miss Windfall crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. Ho, 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 ho. Vanity. Something you do not know. Well, something you do know. Welcome to the potion shop. Hello, hello, and hello. You are standing in the one and only Chew Jelly Juice Shop. You must have heard, our potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Huh? What's that? What's a Chew Jelly, you ask? Looking somewhat bewildered? Oh, sir, you must simply be joking. You don't know what Chew Jelly is? Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words chew jelly roar out in answer to those these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why, it is the key ingredient in most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my juice shop here and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? No, I don't have a tennis racket. I'm so sorry. Yay. Hello. You're looking for a sail? I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will you? Go pester that guy in the massive coat or whatever. Massive coat? Today. Hello there. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds, and this island is where I washed ashore. There was one other person with me. Yes, there was. But I dare say he was immediately arrested based on somewhat suspicious looks and thrown right into jail. Yes, just shocked. Just shocked. Just locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Would you be so kind as to help free him from captivity? Indeed, it would be appreciated. Hmm. Well, the girls happened to tell us about a person locked up. What do you want? People from all over the world seem to gather here on Windfall Island, all hoping to become successful merchants. I suppose you could say that this is the island where people and money come together. But, what, you know what? Money is important, sure, but don't you think it's more... People need to open their hearts a little more to their, their wallets? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time, and I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way. Very true. I'm caught on a corner. Wait, I want to pick. Why can't I pick this up? Oh, I'm moving it, that's why. <laughs> Yoink. Menace to society. Hey there, boy. Do you happen to see the post box near the docks? Well, just to let you know, if you want to send someone a letter, just hit Y, X, or R, and use that button and put it in the post box. It's that easy. Before long, the Rito Postman will come to deliver it to whomever you've sent it to. He's a hard-working fellow, I tell you. Bless the Postman. She's so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumor has it she has a mountains of tacky pendants and earrings. It's as though she loves nothing more in the world than jewelry. Hmm? Just now, what do you think you're doing? Were you listening to us, you scamp? Now, you listen, young man. I haven't seen you around, so I guess you're new to Windfall, but don't you know it's bad to eavesdrop on conversations meant only for adult ears? 
We're discussing very, very important topics that kids just wouldn't understand. You're far too young to listen to be listening to us, young man. So shoo. Rude. Manage to society. Go. Ooh, blue rupee. This town's our turf. The turf around the world famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Yay! Yeah, buzz buzz. What are you looking at, bud? Huh, huh, huh? Hey, bud, what are you looking at? What are you, some kind of country rube? I mean, just look at that outfit. What a getup. Rude children. But if we go inside here... Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Mary's School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk about those kids. I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall Island? 20 years? Ever since then, I've been teaching the children the island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader, that little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense into him for me? Please, young man, for me? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. There's so such troublesome little boys. I'm at my wit's end over how to handle them. But they won't be mean to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. Good luck, young man. Okay. Hello. Uh, the one in the hat is Ivan. Yeah! Yo, bud, you got a problem with us killer bees, huh? Do ya? Don't tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to, because Miss Mary asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about that. We're the mighty and invincible gang of four, the killer bees. Do you think we'd listen to a chump like you? But I'll tell you what, bud, if you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll think about maybe listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? I'll take you on. Okay, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. We're going to go hide somewhere, and if you can find us, we're going to run. But you got to try and catch us. Easy as that, bud. We won't hide indoors or nothing, and we won't leave this island, so look for us around the sh in the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it, bud? Ready? Go! Okay, so we have to capture the children. Darn it. Blue rupee! No! I get the bloopy. I must get the bloopy. Oh, I missed the regular rupee. Alright, so we got to find the kids. There's one on top of the tree, as we can see right there. Should be one over here. Find here. Right, there they go. You're awesome. I am. There should be one behind this tree. Or so I thought. I don't remember entirely where they are. Again, it's been a long time since I played this game. But they are all on the island. So just keep that in mind. We know where one of them is. One of them is behind the grave. I know that. I know one of them is behind the grave. Right 
there behind the bomb shop. Gah, yeah, you got me. All right. Let's get the one on top of the tree. No, I know that's the leader. I want to save the leader for last. Come on. There we go. Nope. My controller's kind of... I should probably... There we go. My A button seems delayed whenever I hit it. I should probably clean the membranes on this thing. This is an official uh, controller I'm using, by the way. I'm using an official pro controller. Not a third-party one. Rupee. Regular rupee. Hey. Good. Good. Aw, lame. And finally. He climbed really high. Nope, I'm not talking to you. Runs all over the island. Got him. Yar, you got me. Ah, uh, I can't believe it. You found all four of us and you caught us all too. Talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. From now on, we won't cause no more trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide and seek and skills, here, take this, bud. Piece of heart. So, that makes two. Two more, and we can complete another heart container. Ugh, this is our favorite possession, but you've proven that you're worthy. You are Bud, the hide-and-seek master. Oh, and one more thing. We need you to apologize to Miss Mary for us, alright? We're counting on you, Bud. They still circle you, by the way. So, let's talk to... Miss Mary... What can I do for you on this fine day? We need a dock. You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. You really are a dear. You fill me with joy. I'll have to reward you. So here, the little spare chain. Woohoo, 50 rupees. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Sure. I'll take 50 bucks. That's great. Now there is another side quest that we can talk to with them. Hey, sounds like you apologize to teach for us. Good old Miss Mary. And speaking of Bud, did you know that it's going to be Miss Mary's birthday soon? Boss. Oh, boss. You think we maybe should we get her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid. We're the killer bees. We ain't no teacher's pet. Yeah, but Teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What is she into these days? What'd she call them? Joy pendants? Really? Where did you find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find some, we could give them to Teach as a present and she'd be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when I was climbing the tree the other day, I saw some sparkly light on the top of the tree in town. What was that? Where was that? Maybe you can... If that's one of them pendants, boss, what do you think? Nah, that's crazy talk. Alright, so now I'm gonna go and start headbutting tree. Nope. I think it's this tree. Nope. Nope. Is it really the tree right over here? Okay, do I hit it more than one? 
Hmm. Alright, give me the rupees. I need them. Now, I do have joy pendants. I do have joy pendants. You need a lot of them to complete the side quest fully. And you are going to need to get joy pendants. It's not... There we go. There's one. You got a joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy, like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. Yo, bud, looks like you found yourself a joy pendant. Solid work. Actually, I gotta admit, we hid that thing up in the tree. We thought you might find it. Listen up, it's gonna be Miss Mary's birthday soon. We're thinking of giving her a present, so it would be good if we finally got that, got our hands on that thing. But we can't keep going around giving presents to people. No way, that just doesn't fit the killer bee style. Come on, bud. Can you give it to teach for us? Can't you? It's not like we can ask just for anybody for us to do it. Oh my god, I butchered that sentence. It's not like we can just ask anybody to do it for us, neither. It's got to be a, someone reliable, someone who can keep a secret. You're the only one who we could ask, bud. All right. So the first present we get is at 20 we get a second present at 40 so we have one tenth of the way there because we got the three from the forbidden fortress you could actually miss out on that scene entirely uh because the you can just give all the um, to miss mary all right uh, oh. put that right there now to show you how you do it. Just talk to them and hit the button. My dear, that's a joy pendant. To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else. And that's that. why that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, 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 I insist, only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them, but there would probably only happen in my wildest dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Woohoo! 20 rupees. And if you see those boys again, tell them I said hello. So, that's one. So we need 19 more. I think 19 more. I don't know if the one for them counts. Wait. So let's talk to them. Yeah! You're the coolest, bud. Yeah, I am. Alright. See all this money I have? I'm probably going to waste it all right now if this is open. I'm really bad at this. Hey, welcome. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. You want to play or what? Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, ahem. <laughs> welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolvaski. Look sharp, for we are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert. All hands on deck. Sonar shows that schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. All ships, prepare for battle. Oh. What? Where? Ah, oh. oh, ho, oh, I see. The fiends approach. There are three squid groups. A large one, a medium one, and a small one. If we allow them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system and seek out and sink all of these fiendishly hidden enemies. But we want, you will only have 24 cannonballs that you can fire. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score 4 direct hits on the large, 3 on the medium, and 2 on the small. Use L to move the cursor, and press A to fire a cannon blast. You may aim, may your aim be true, that is all. That is all the instruction you need. Is that clear, sailor? Aye, aye, sir. Excellent. So far, our best sailor has managed to destroy all of the giant squid in using only 20 cannonballs. May you fight, brave fight as bravely. 
So, basically, the high score, you beat the high score, you get something. Sploosh. Okay. Sploosh. Sploosh. Alright, that's one. Sploosh. 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 Oh, I'm not gonna get this. Sploosh. Sploosh. Kaboom! Sploosh. 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 Kaboom! Oh, I got it. Dang it. Ah, there's where it was. Oh, bad news, uh, sailor. The enemies have retreated or something. It's 10 rupees per game, kid. Want to try again? Yes. Okay. Like I said, gonna waste all of them. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. Okay, I get it in 20. Excellent work, sailor. Your deeds have your deeds have successfully protected the peace on the fair island. We are so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, sailor. Hooray! Yay! Oh, thank you, Mr. Sailor. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great. Boom, baby. So you get the piece of heart for beating the 20. You get what's called a treasure chart for beating the other one. So uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how much, how fun it's been for me. And uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out the door. Eh? 10 rupees if you want to play. You want to play or what? Yeah. All right then, ahem. Hit 20 cannonballs. Okay, I got that one. Wow! I did terrible on that one. Bad news. Yes. Because I need to do it in 20, less than 20. It's all RNG. Okay. okay that's one. Nah, I didn't get this one. There's a pattern to it that you can do, but I just want to see if the RNG is going to be lucky on me. I got lucky for the piece of heart. Oh no! Dang it! Oh, there's where it was. I got the f four, but I could no. Oh, I want the treasure chart. 
Because the treasure charts usually lead to um, pieces of heart, too. Okay, there's that one. <sighs> this is still not as bad as all like Octoball Derby or something. Oh. Yes, I beat it in 20. Beat it with 19. Excellent work, sailor. Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on the fair island. We are so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, sailor. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Sailor. This is our thanks to you. It's been passed down from the island for many years, so don't tell the elder, okay? Here, please take this treasure chart. You got a treasure chart. Open this chart on the map screen and a place where treasure lies will be lit up. Sail to that area and then use the chart to find the treasure. Whoa, wait a sec, 19? Hey, that's a new record. So uh, you get this too. We get the other treasure chart. I forgot that there was a second prize of a treasure chart, but so uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how much fun it's been for me and uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out the door. All right, so we actually finished that in about 80 rupees. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out more Legend of Zelda action, check out the top link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess done on the Nintendo GameCube. And for even more Zelda action, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS.